Good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Today we are continuing our journey through the book of Mark. We're going to be reading from Mark 11 verses 27 through 33. We'll be finishing up the chapter of 11 today. And where we finished last week, we talked about Jesus had, um, the last th three sessions, we talked about Jesus had cursed the fig tree, then he had gone into the, to the temple and cleansed the temple, then he had come back and um, talked about the fig tree he, that he had cursed, and the fig tree was dead. Um, and today, he's going to be going into the temple, Jesus is going to be going into the, to the temple, um, so he's going back into the temple that he had cleansed earlier. So naturally there's some troublemakers there that um, want to debate with Jesus, okay? The question I have for you today is this. Are you one that wants to truly follow Jesus or are you one that just wants to debate and be academic, okay? There's, there's like head knowledge you can have in here, but then there's like my relationship with God, which is in here um, too. So um, anyway, so that's what, what Jesus was um, dealing with here, you know, the guys that came um, and were trying to, you know, just uh, have a big argument. So let's read uh, verses 27 through 33 of chapter 11. Uh, you can, if you have your Bibles, uh, turn there with me. It says this, They arrived again in Jerusalem, and while Jesus was walking in the temple courts, the chief priests and the teachers of the law and the elders came to him, by what authority are you doing these things, they asked, and who gave you authority to do this? Jesus replied, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I am doing these things. John's baptism, was it from heaven or from human origin? Tell me. They discussed it among themselves and said, If we say from heaven, he will ask, then why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, they feared the people, for everyone held that John was really a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we don't know. Jesus said, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Let's look back at verses 27 through 28. Um, they come to him asking by what authority he, there, he, Jesus is doing these things. If you look at just this passage, which we're reading today, you'd be like, authority to do what? But you gotta go back to what we, we did two days ago. Um, where he cleared the temple. And so they, they're asking the question, by what authority did you cleanse the temple? Okay, um, the temple is a big place and uh, to just go out and, and cleanse it, they're like, uh, who gave you authority? Was it like the Roman government or was it um, the head um, Pharisee? Who, who authorized you to do this? And so Jesus answers, is gonna answer them, but they are trying to, um, to have a debate, okay, uh, and be academic about it. They're not searching for Jesus in their heart like, mm, Jesus, I wonder if this is really the Messiah, and then wanting to follow him, okay? So they were wanting to start this debate and asking, by whose authority are you doing this? Now, it was common in those days to answer a question, especially with, with the religious leaders like that, to answer a question by, by asking another question. And if you couldn't answer that question, then, um, you know, then it was done. So Jesus does that. He, he enters the debate by asking them a question. And he, Jesus replied in verse 29 says, I will ask you one question, answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I'm doing these things. So you got to answer the question first, then I'm going to give you the answer. Okay. Verse 30, John's baptism, was it from heaven or human origin? Tell me. Now, they were going to be in, in trouble here because um, people equated J the ministry of John with the, with the ministry of Jesus, that they were both divine, um, the people around there, okay? And people definitely um, thought the ministry of John the Baptist was from God, okay? It wasn't uh, his own doing. So, um, but the Pharisees didn't uh, believe in, in John the Baptist, okay, and they sure didn't believe in Jesus. So it was, they, they were kind of caught, like, okay, if we say, and it says in verse 31, they discussed it among themselves and said, if we say from heaven, he will ask, why didn't you believe him? Okay, so they would go, if, 
if they say from John the Baptist, oh, it was from heaven, then Jesus would say, well, why didn't you believe in John the Baptist and, and follow him? Uh, so they're like, oh, we don't want to say that. And then um, in verse 32, it says, but if we say of human origin, then they're like, oh, then we're caught because the people all around us are saying John, John's ministry was from God. It wasn't a human origin. And so they were like caught, like, uh, what are we going to say? So they play dumb and they're like, uh, we don't know. And that was their way of getting out of it. And Jesus said, well, since you can't answer that question, I'm not going to answer uh, your question that you asked me. And of course, of course he could do it. Uh, Jesus could easily answer that, that question and say, well, yeah, I came from God. Um, and God has given me authority to do this. But he was, um, these guys were not honestly seeking him. They were just uh, uh, trying to cause tr trouble and to trap him. That's what their intention was. So it, it really is a divine, he's showing his divinity by seeing through this and not getting trapped in their, um, their logic, okay? My question for you today is this. Are you seeking God with, with all your heart and, and really seeking him with your heart um, like the people were at that time? Or are you um, trying to be academic and, and uh, you know, see if, and trip Jesus up and is, is Jesus really God and so forth um, and not really following him, okay? That, like the Pharisees. You can either be like the people that were, were following, they were following John the Baptist and then, then following Jesus um, and honestly seeking him. Or you can be like the Pharisees. They, they were just out to act religious and um, they didn't want to, to follow Jesus. They were just trying to um, uh, trap him, trip him up. Okay. And you can try, you can um, be like that in, in your church and, and to others around you. Um, always trying to, to start an argument about stuff like the Pharisees. Or you can be, honestly be asking questions um, to help in your spiritual growth. So that's my encouragement for you today. Be one that's honestly uh, seeking the Lord. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking the word, and we will see you tomorrow. Lord's blessing.